In this tutorial, I want to look at how I can work out a volume of water in here um, so I can then measure or mark the um, maximum height. So we'll start with a new part file, uh, which is going to be in the ordered environment because I want to use a part copy to um, uh, work with, which will be associative in the ordered environment. So I'm going to create a parallel plane. I just want to come off the bottom here and we'll say about five mil just to give me clearance from the bottom of the coffee pot. I'm going to just create a circle by center, which will be smaller than the internal diameter. And exit out of here. I want to make this a 100 mil high. And then I can come across to the part copy command. And the reason I've created that first is that um, I wish um, this to be a um, construction body, so it's automatically going to default to that. And that gives me, as you can see, that offset from the bottom of the coffee pot. So I want to use a uh, replace face. Um, the spout is going to cause me problems. Um, and the water level is not going to go that high anyway. So if I go into my surfacing commands, I can go copy. I can change the option to chain. And I only want to work from that area down anyway. So if I uh, accept that and then do a revolved um, cut out, I'm going to come off that plane there and just use a um, projector sketch command to pick up on these internal edges which will take me down to where the other one fits in so I'll accept that and I also need to specify an axis of revolution so I've just drawn a line in for that if we close out um, that's obviously going to project round, or we can go 360 to define that. So let's hide our original part copy. Let's see, we've got the two surfaces now. Um, I can use a stitch command to take both of those and make it into one. And from here, I can use a replace face, taking that and the bottom and replacing it with this, which gives me my um, internal volume. Now, I don't know what the height is, needs to be, and I need to have a dimension um, available to um, work with with my goal stick. So I'm just going to create a cut, and I'm just going to use an open profile in here. So I'm just going to draw a line, just to come down a little bit off the top there, just going to go symmetric. So this is an open profile. Specify which direction and in both directions. So that gives me a cut. So, as with most um, dimensions, features, whatever, you'll see that um, I forgot to create a dimension on there. So, I will come from here and place a dimension from here to the coordinate system. So that then goes into the variable table. So if we look under tools and variables, you will see that that 102.9 is now in as V809. So we'll close it out of here and leave that to be cut away. So what I'm looking for is um, I need to create my properties. I'm going to change my material to be water. And that gives me um, a volume in here, the surface area and so on. So that then also goes into the variable table. So in here we also have the goal seek command. And um, what I'm looking for is the uh, Volume. 
down here. So it's currently this. I want to take it down to um, say 70,000. Need to look for my variable. So there's the V809 and accept it. And you'll see that it sort of jumps around until it gets to a very um, a level that you're after. So again, we could sort of go in and change that again, say 750,000 and accept it and go in and give me that um, value. So we now have sort of that water level sitting in the coffee pot. So if we put this back into the assembly, I can then go back into the part file here um, for the coffee jug and I now know what the mark point is for that 